Hello everyone and welcome to my sister wives bombshell channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Just like the Barbie movie, the 18th season of Sister Wives shares striking parallels with Barbie, Greta Gerwig's cinematic masterpiece. Yet, Hoodie Brown simply isn't Kano. Sister Spouses season 18 offers a burning picture of man-controlled society, uncovering difficult insights about adoration and power. In the past, Cody Brown ruled his own kingdom. He is currently struggling with his identity and displaying such vulnerability. Christine, like the stereotypical Barbie, is putting everything at risk in order to achieve her goal. The other wives are rebelling against her. While Cody Brown isn't enjoying the same hero's journey as Ken, the action in Sister Wives is similar to Greta Gerwig's Barbie comedic fantasy. Although Sister Wives season 18 does not feature the candy-colored oversaturation that makes Barbie's appearance so distinctive, it does present a similarly piercing portrayal of patriarchy. Since three episodes have broadcasted, the polygamy-themed series is uncovering agonizing bits of insight about affection and power. In the past, Cody ruled his own kingdom. Despite Ken's hilarious mink coat, this sports car-loving bro is all about toxic masculinity, according to Robin Brown. He also likes man time. Cody switches to brown leather in season 18. Even though Cody's clothes aren't nearly as funny as Ken's, some of the conversations he has with other men are hilarious gold. A swinging saloon door and a mini fridge are all that are missing. In the meantime, the spouses of at various times, not set in stone to have more organization over their own lives. They want to find themselves, just like stereotypical Barbie played by Margaret Robbie. Cody Brown needs a new name Robin, Janelle, Christine, and Mary Brown aren't the only Barbies going through existential crises. It's additionally Cody. He no longer knows who he is, like Ken. In the melody Just Ken, the male doll asks, Is it my fate to live and kick the bucket an existence of blonde delicacy? Brilliant blonde Cody can likely relate. In season 18, he is more fragile than ever, almost as if his nerves are outside his body. He is being attacked by his wives, including his ex-wife Christine. He used to be the one giving orders. Does Cody want them to see the man behind the tan in the same way that Ken wanted them to understand him? Ken, puzzled by the pointlessness of his turned sugar presence, additionally sings, Am I not hot when I'm in my sentiments? Ken is the beach's ruler in his plastic world, but in reality he is a subordinate. Additionally, she does not share his love for stereotypical Barbie. The doll is being altered by all of these things. On Sister Wives, Cody is aware that Christine no longer loves him and suspects that Janelle does as well. Mary, who might just be weird Barbie because she is so out of the loop, probably doesn't bother him at all. Christine gambled with everything to act naturally. In Barbie, Margaret's personality branched out into the world to fix a shallow issue. However, her life in Barbie land was insufficient once she was there, experiencing true humanity. While humanness implies torment and tension, they are the foil for their contrary energies, satisfaction and harmony. Every emotion in the full spectrum of human experience contributes to the development of a life that is full of character and richness. What a person goes through shapes them. She was hooked and saw all the possibilities once she tasted reality. Moving ahead was the only real option. Outside of plural marriage, Christine resembles stereotypical Barbie. As a protagonist, rather than a supporting character, she is looking into life. In order to achieve happiness as a person, she is willing to risk everything. If that isn't motivating, then what is? Like the blonde doll, she is now creating a new life on her own terms. Christine is engaged to David Woolley in real life. She is making progress toward that goal during the 18th season. Christine is unsure of what the future holds in the current Sister Wives installment. She is... Nevertheless, letting go of the past. Everything depends on that kind of bravery. Christine is someone who believes in both herself and God, not a traitor to her faith. Before Christine decided to leave Cody, she might have placed her trust in a higher power. She is influencing the Brown family's other Barbies regardless of her thoughts. She is eliciting opposition. Janelle and Mary will soon follow in her footsteps in the real world, Cody from Sister Wives, on the other hand, still needs to work on his inner self before he can achieve Ken's self-esteem in Barbieland. Does Robin Brown feel uncertainty? 
Is Robin so uncertain of her significant other that she needs to compel the issue by let everybody know that monogamy's presently the main choice? Possibly. Robin may not be able to handle the idea of Cody bringing in a younger woman because Cody is rigid in his ways. A wife who is younger than her might appear extremely threatening because she is maturing. Unless a person has spent years promoting the benefits of plural marriage, that is nothing to be ashamed of, it is just human nature. Robin acted exactly as she did. She has caused a stir by changing her tune, and her desire for a standard marriage may end up destroying her relationship. She is asking Cody to put her own deeply held religious beliefs aside as well. For the earthy colored family, getting some distance from polygamy is no joking matter. It is a rejection of principles that the majority of older Browns have held for decades. When the sister spouse's family is cracked, just a single wife still with Cody, what is left? Every thought, word, and deed we make in life shapes who we are and the legacy we leave behind. It appears to have been a waste of time to try to follow what the Browns believe to be God's will for all those years, and that probably is not the legacy that the famous clan's members were hoping for. Robin is trying to start a new life by expressing her needs. Robin is showing some bravery. But is it too late? Cody is said to be interested in getting a wife. Robin may have committed a grave error by delaying telling her husband how she feels and what she wants. Cody may consider this to be the ideal time to start a relationship, given that he has three wives and is accustomed to exercising considerable control over multiple partners. He might also be perplexed by Robin's shift in attitude from sister wives, even though they both seem to be against plural marriage since the Coyote Pass mess. Men Cody's age frequently switch their older wives for younger models. Will Cody put his own twist on that drained platitude by finding a new and youthful sister wife who may very well turn into the main companion? Robin will find out how it feels to be his second choice if that's the case. Cody is being asked to be faithful by Robin and wants a traditional marriage, but he may not be ready to give up polygamy completely. Robin Brown, star of Sister Wives, has become more demanding recently, and she might discover that her husband Cody Brown is unable to satisfy her requirements. Robin is changing, and as a result, she expects more from her partner, including total devotion. Cody is accustomed to a plural marriage in which he decides for a large family that includes several spouses. Sister Wives Cody's 18 children are now dispersed, and he barely has contact with his former wives. Everything has changed and Robin's prepared to settle down. Cody may not be ready to provide her with the emotional security she desires in a traditional marriage. He's clearly resentful of Mary, Christine, and Janelle Brown's departure, but that doesn't mean he's ready to give up on polygamy. Robin probably wouldn't have to tell the world that Cody's new wife would upset her if he were. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.